fine, good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. American Black History Month in Uganda. U.S. Ambassador to Uganda Natalie E. Brown, Uganda's Minister of Tourism, Wildlife, and Antiquities, the Honorable. Tom Butime, local authorities, and the Wallambi community came together to unveil the restored Luba Thurston Fort Memorial. This is located in Mayub District. It was dedicated to preserving and honoring the memory of the men, women, and children who passed through this former slave trading site. During the ceremony, the Makarare Spirituals Choir performed a series of African-American spirituals to recognize shared. It was to celebrate the U.S. mission in Uganda's observation of Black History Month. In a statement issued by Dorothy Nanyanga, Information Assistant, the U.S. Mission Uganda, presented a US$45,000 grant from the U.S. Ambassadors Fund for Cultural Preservation AFCP. In support of the restoration of the monument at the Luba Thurston Fort in Wallambi Village, Mayu District, which is important for documenting the end of the slave trade in Uganda. To date, the United States has funded eight projects under the AFCP in Uganda. Speaking at the concert, Ambassador Brown said, We must acknowledge the pain slavery brought to communities around the globe, and the continuing impact of its legacy. We need to take lessons from that painful history to build a better future in which all citizens enjoy equal freedoms under the law. Every February, the United States celebrates Black History Month to honor the achievements and contributions of African Americans to our society, culture, and nation. African American spirituals have their roots in songs sung by enslaved people in the United States. The songs helped African Americans find hope during their bondage. It played a key role in ending slavery. Honestly facing our history, including the tragedy of slavery in America, and the systemic racism that continues today, is the only way we will be able to deliver on America's promise of freedom, equality, and opportunity for all, Brown said. Established by the U.S. Congress in the fall of 2000, the Ambassadors Fund for Cultural Preservation AFCP, awards grants for the preservation of cultural sites, cultural objects, collections, and forms of traditional cultural expression in more than 100 countries. Congress noted that cultural preservation offers an opportunity to show a different American face to other countries, one that is not commercial, non-political, and non-military. By taking a leading role in efforts to preserve cultural heritage, we show our respect for other cultures. Since 2001, the AFCP has demonstrated America's respect for the cultural heritage of others by supporting more than 640 preservation projects worldwide. History of Fort Luba Thurston According to the Department of Museums and Monuments, Uganda, the fort was once occupied by a powerful chief, Luba of Bunya chiefdom in Usoga, Busoga, located in current eastern Uganda. It was a landing site for canoes by which men and goods were ferried to and from the Kayagwe shore. By 1891, the British commander Frederick Lugard recruited Sudanese troops, Nubians, as armed mercenaries to help administer what became the Uganda Protectorate in 1894. A year before, a British colonial garrison had been established at Luba's fort with the posting of 40 Sudanese troops strategically situated near the caravan trade route that crossed the Napoleon Gulf between Bunya and Baganda. This was partly to reduce insecurity associated with the eastern caravan route. It is believed that Basoga chiefs exchanged slaves for firearms from Baganda and the presence of a British garrison at Luba's fort. It helped suppress motives for such activity. In 1897, the Sudanese soldiers mutinied in much of the Uganda Protectorate overpay, rations, and clothes that were in arrears. The rebellion included Sudanese troops garrisoned in Kenya that joined those at Luba's fort. Major Thruston entered the fort unarmed to negotiate a surrender, but he and Wilson, a British civilian, and steamer engineer Scott were shot dead. The mutineers stayed at the fort for two months before it was attacked by British forces. C. L. Pilkington of the CMS and Lt. Norman MacDonald was killed. The mutineers evacuated the fort and escaped by Dow on 9 January 1898. Luba's fort was abandoned and another short-lived Fort Thruston was built nearby the following year. Chief Luba died of sleeping sickness on 17 July 1906, during the first outbreak of the epidemic that ravaged the region. 
The current monument was originally built in 1900, in memory of those who lost their lives during the war at Bukaliba. The site's cultural landscape consists of caves, a man-made ditch system, with significant scatter of iron slag, pottery, and the Wallambi sacred tree. Kiondo Hill the ancient home of Chief Luba in present-day Mayuga district also marks the spot where Bishop James Hannington, 3 September 1847 – 29 October 1885, an English Anglican missionary and his Christian porters met their death. Oblivious to the political consequences of traversing the Baganda kingdom from the east. This was after an oracle, Amanda, had predicted that Baganda's conqueror would come from the east. This was followed by persecution of Christians in Baganda culminating in their martyrdom on 3 June 1886 leading to by civil wars of colonial conquest and rivalry between French and British, German, Anglican, Catholic, and Muslim factions leading to Mwanga's eventual ouster and the declaration of Uganda as a British protectorate in 1894 solidified by the Uganda Agreement in 1900. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group, or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.